My name is Bill Parkinson and I'm a curator in the Department of Anthropology. Our goal here at the Field Museum is to explain why the world is the way it is today. In the case of anthropology, these collections document cultural variability as we have come to understand it in the Kurish Regional Archaeological Project, or as we call it, CRAP for short. Rick and Attila and I started working together to excavate some of these early Copper Age settlement sites, which hadn't really been systematically excavated. I started working in Hungary in uh, the mid-1990s. I remember it was a really rainy day in, like, March. I'd met Attila, but we hadn't really talked. And he was the prehistorian in the local museum. We slog out to this site, and we're walking through mud for, like, like a mile and he's not pleased with me at all this whole time. We finally get out to the site and he says, uh, oh, but you might be right, there might be something to this. And so we're digging this Copper Age site and all the dates are coming back. They're overlapping with Neolithic sites just down the road. And that makes sense because that's how cultures work. It's not like, you know, someone said, okay, and now the Neolithic is done. Put down, put down all of your Neolithic pots, start burnishing. You, are you burnishing? It, it doesn't work like that. And that's not the way cultures change. One of the things that we've been studying in our own research, the Kirsch Project, is what that means culturally to go from one time period to the other time period to go from the Neolithic into the Copper Age. And we're starting to understand that at a very local level. How households were organized, how settlements were organized, how they related to each other across the landscape. And that continued, uh, well, it still continues up to this day. It's been very, very fruitful. Uh, good collaboration.